the time has come again to select either an existing or new figurehead. I'm talking about the position for mayor in Fredericton. The current mayor and two female contenders are vying for the prestigious position. The current mayor announced that he is re-offering again in his first self-promotional video. He spoke without question with a silver tongue. However, that in itself should set up red flags. Beware of he who speaks with a silver tongue. At no time during his eloquent talk about himself supply any evidence of what he did. Instead, he rides on other people's accomplishments and attributes those to himself. All decisions that come from council are through the democratic process of majority rules. The councillors, not the mayor, decides the end game. The only time the mayor has an important role is breaking a tie vote. Otherwise, he serves as a chairperson. Beyond that, the mayor's role is a liaison officer between the media, business, and other government officials. He, and maybe after this election, he will be replaced with she. As a liaison officer, he has to report back to the council, and if that matter has to be decided by vote, then the councillors vote on either the yeas or the nays, determines the outcome. The mayor cannot, without council's approval, make that decision. Some of Mayor O'Brien talking points seem to be very similar to former Mayor Woodside's talking points. Coincidence or plagiarism? What Mayor O'Brien has proven over the five years is that he picks and chooses who he will meet with and when it comes to the general public. Anyone he perceives as an adversary to him or his plan, O'Brien avoids, unfriends, or blocks him from his social media platforms. Unlike the former mayor of Woodside who had open doors for anyone, whether friend or foe, Woodside would extend the courtesy to meet with them. Not so with O'Brien. O'Brien, on the other hand, alienates himself from those who he perceives as adversaries and non-supporters. As much as O'Brien does talk on poverty, he is a plutocrat, meaning he fully backs those of wealth. Given that they are two female contenders for the position at this time, this may very well work in the mayor's O'Brien's favor due to vote splitting, and that is a reality, my friends. So remember, beware of he who speaks with a silver tongue. Bonjour, hello, quoi. I'm Mike O'Brien, Mayor of Fredericton, in front of the beautiful Marysville Cotton Mill. Former President Lyndon B. Johnson once said of the way to being president, when the burdens of the presidency seem heavy, I always remind myself it could be worse. I could be a mayor. Yes, being mayor is not for the faint of heart, but it is a huge honor. Imagine starting each week knowing you have the opportunity to do great things for your city. Fellow Fredericktonians, on this exact date five years ago, I shared my vision of how together we could make our home the wealthiest, fairest, and greenest city in our province. We have been through a great deal together since then. The exhilarating highs of record growth, jobs and prosperity, and the painful low of the most tragic day in this city's long history. Yet together, we have much to be thankful for. We have been able to achieve the lowest municipal tax rate of all New Brunswick cities and find 10 million in tax savings without cutting any services. Together, we have had our city recognized by the Federation of Canadian Municipalities as a national leader in addressing climate change, and our community is now creating 40 micro-unit homes for our fellow residents caught in the cycle of homelessness. We were on a roll, but then the unimaginable happened. Only one year ago, it would have been preposterous to predict what we have been through together in 2020. The global pandemic, through no fault of our own, has severely impacted our businesses and jobs and made us fear for our own safety and the lives of those that we love. Now, more than ever, is the time for an experienced and proven leader, a mayor that has been forged in the fires of past events, but with the energy and the vision to lead us through these tough times. It is because of my experience and the challenges ahead of us that, after a great deal of consultation with my family, community leaders, friends and Fredericktonians from all walks of life. I am announcing today that I am running to be Mayor of Fredericton again. Under my proven leadership, we achieved record growth in population 
in jobs and in prosperity. And under my continued leadership, we will get that back. As your mayor, I have been working diligently in COVID recovery planning with the Chamber of Commerce, agencies, our airport, and with our local cabinet ministers. But my work has just begun. Under my continued leadership, Fredericton will recover. We will continue to be a beacon for newcomers, investment and jobs, and we will continue to forge partnerships and reconciliation with St. Mary's First Nation. And we will become an even more compassionate and resilient city. I ask that you join me on our journey to recovery and prosperity for all. And I humbly ask for your vote and support on May the 10th to lead this city as your mayor once again. Thank you. Merci, Wooliewan.